All right, guys, welcome back to the segment. So yesterday, the uh, the biggest club football competition, that's the UEFA Champions League, obviously kicked off. And then we saw uh, a number of uh, very interesting games uh, actually going down yesterday. Uh, I think the new format now means that they have to play more matches in the group stages before they actually qualify into the knockout stages. But it was very, very exciting. Uh, I, was, I was just looking out for games where I would see our Nigerian players uh, you know, perform. And uh, one of those games also happens to be an epic uh, fixture, Liverpool versus AC Milan. We know this fixture. It's been like, uh, you, you know, a fixture that have played at least two finals that I'm aware of, you know, the 2005-2006 uh, finals. Uh, again, Samuel Chikweze was the man I was uh, looking for to see in this game. But it turns out that he was um, not used for this game it was a substitution, but was not called up to play in this game. And uh, sadly, AC Milan went on to lose that game after uh, joining the first blood, scoring uh, in the three, in the in the three minutes, uh, you know, uh, very early on in the game, courtesy of Pulisic. But, but then later would go on to lose that game, uh, three goes to one. But again, this is a big lesson for the coach. Why would he not play Samuel Chukwueze? I mean, Samuel Chukwueze does. One of the hottest uh, wingers right now. We saw his recent uh, engagement with the national team. How he was uh, on fire for uh, the Super League spots. Again, uh, I'm sure next time the coach is going to want to get him to uh, come do his magic and, and help them rescue, uh, you know, some important points. But let's not do that too much on that one. And of course, we still have a um, number of UEFA uh, Champions League games coming up where we have the chance to see our. Our players shine today today's zone uh, i think the only game that we have to see a nigerian player is uh club bridge uh if i'm not mistaken club bridge ha has a match today against uh, Dortmund, so that's going to be uh, very interesting to see because we have our man there uh onyedika who's going to uh, obviously want to uh you know make a very very uh big statement in the uefa champions league of course, again for Club Brugge because uh, we know that he initially wanted to leave Club Brugge for you know a bigger opportunity with Galatasaray, but he decided to stay, and uh, he's going to want to uh, show his quality in the Champions League. But uh, I think the biggest one in the Champions League will probably be coming up uh, on Thursday. You know, Ademola Lukman's Atlanta uh, slugging it out with Arsenal. It's going to be it's going to be a crazy match to be honest. Again, anytime any day, I'm sticking with my you know with my brother and my man Ademola Lukman. I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans will not agree, you know, with me here that Ademola Lukman should win this game. But let me know what you think about it. if you're an Arsenal fan and you 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 you're going into this match. What do you want to happen? You want you know your your brother to win this game, Lukman, and you want your team, your club Arsenal to win it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. But Moving straight into what I basically have to uh, share with you in this video. Uh, let's start with Victor Osime. That's like, you know, at least what, you know, the, 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 the title said in this video. So Victor Osime actually uh, missed their match yesterday uh, against, uh, missed Galatasaray's match against Gaziantep. And uh, a lot of people were actually surprised. You know, why did he have to miss a match after he made that impressive debut? And then everybody was like, okay, he's going to start their, he's going to start their next game and the next game and the next game because he, he suits so well in this uh, Galatasaray team and we just want to see him play the team. Everybody wants to see him play. But here is, uh, you know, the real deal why he actually missed that game. He missed it because, uh, uh, you know, the Turkish FA did not sanction him to play that game because when uh because uh, the gaziantep game was ready start to be played as a uh, week three fixture that's the third uh league game of the season and during this period it was said that victor Sime had not been bought by galatasaray he hadn't been bought he hadn't been registered as a player for galatasaray so for this purpose he didn't pass uh to play this game so he was not uh, you know, supposed to play the game because he was not bought or registered by the club. So that was why uh, he didn't play. And the game 
as I said, originally was ready start to be played in March week third, and uh, unfortunately they are they are now playing yesterday as a match week five game. So they've played their fifth game now, and obviously Osima was not registered during the time that it was supposed to be played. So it was like an outstanding match of of some sort. Uh, but you know the good news is they obviously won the game. Victor Osime, I'm sure, even if, though he didn't play the game, he's going to be happy to see his team uh, cruising. You know, winning all games. They've actually won all their games in the uh, Turkey Super League, and uh, they are now uh, they've now you know collected uh, 15 points from five games. That's like perfect record, you know, and. Uh, uh, they are now in the first position. Um, Fenabachi training them uh, in the second position with 13 points from five games, uh, which means Fenabachi had only drawn one. And you know what this means now? Uh, Fenabachi is like maybe this season it's going to be like the biggest rivalry of Galatasaray, uh, especially because of this man, Jose Mourinho, that has just uh, taken up that role now to become the coach for this season. So, interestingly also, uh, their next game, that's Galatasaray's next game, is going to be against uh, Jose Mourinho, that's Fenerbahce. And we know the story, Victor Osimhen and Mourinho, they have a history together. They have a, a very complicated history, right, you know, back then uh, from the uh, Italian Serie A, where uh, Mourinho was the coach of AS Roma, Victor Osimhen was the player of Napoli. They had a lot of engagement, a lot of encounters, a lot of bad blood. Let me call it bad blood. Uh, Marino obviously admires Victor Osime for his talent, for his quality, but he also has criticized Victor Osime a lot, uh, a good number of times. He says Victor Osime uh, is in the caliber of the Drogba, the, the, uh, the Mosala, you know, best African players of all time. But his problem is that Victor Osime dives too much and he has always you know, gotten into trouble with Victor Osime for this issue. And it's going to, this, you know, these are the, some of the reasons why it's going to be uh, a very interesting match, uh, this game. They're actually playing this game this weekend, as this Saturday, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, so I'm sure Victor Osime, I'm sure Galatasaray is going to uh, get everything right, get everything ready to make sure that Victor Osime is available to start this game. Uh, you know, because it's their best, it's their best shot at winning this Fenerbahce game. It's their best chance. Uh, uh, but let's see how that one goes on. And uh, from the Fenerbahce side, there's also uh, a bit of a good news from their camp uh, because their defender and also Super Eagles defender, Brian to say Samuel has now returned from injury uh, after I think missing for around three weeks or so. You, of course, you remember when uh, Coach Austin Wavon called up the guys to come play this, this uh, September games that we just recently played. Um, uh, this man, Osei Samuel, was one of the guys that, that was called up. But he pulled off, pulled off rather, uh, when, you know, when, he, when everybody was in camp, he pulled off and then he was replaced uh, with this other guy, Tenimu, because he had injury, he had a, a bit of, a, I think, a, a, a small knee injury, uh, a minor knee injury. But right now he has recovered and he is set to provide Jose Mourinho with a, a very solid, important boost, you know, uh, going into this very, very uh, feisty, very hot uh, weekend clash between the, you know, first and second position in the Turkey Super Leagues. But well, let's see how that one goes. Uh, later on, uh, of course, uh, let's move forward and let me let you know that uh, um, Ahmed Musa has actually hinted that he uh, might be returning back to the Nigerian MPFL uh, league. Of course, you know that Musa has been without a club for a good number of uh, months now since his uh, last uh, you know contract expired, and you know recently he went on social media and then he. He appeared to be asking the fans some questions about uh, which club would be their preference, which of the MPFL clubs would be their, their preference for him to return and join. He posted this on his social media. He was like, let's go again. Which of these teams do you wish for me to sign? And then he mentioned um, more than 
15 MPFL clubs, you know, uh, as options, effectively sending out the message that he is uh, seriously considering returning uh, to MPFL club. And it, it is believed that Ahmed Musa wants to get in a lot of playing times because he wants to rejuvenate his, uh, his, his career with the Super Eagles. He still wants to take part in Super Eagles engagement. He still wants to be playing, you know, football at the highest level. Uh, so he wants to return uh, to MPFL club so that he would get match game, match time, week in, week out, and then uh, be ready to be called up to the national team when uh, we need him. So this is like the primary reason why he wants to return so that he will start to play games and then have a chance at, at being called up. Because if you don't have a club side where you're playing, then obviously there, there's no way that uh, you're going to get a call up. There's no way that the coach can ascertain whether you're informed, whether you're, you're good enough, you know, at that specific time for him to call you up. So this is the primary you know, reason why Ahmed Musa is uh, looking at coming back. What do you think, guys? Is it a good idea for him to return back to MPFL? And do you think that if he returns, he is still going to get a chance to be called up to play for Nigerian Spigus? But uh, that's the update, guys. More videos coming up shortly. Don't forget to like and, sh and share your opinions. Uh, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and uh, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you soon in my next video.